Hello everyone, I'm hello, 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 welcome, welcome. Here we are for another of my series, my lockdown series with uh, Seventa Makeup Academy and Treasure House of Makeup. Hello darling, Jill, how are you? Hello. Oh, hello, my God, it's all happening today. The Art of Drag joined me as well. Fabulous, fabulous May, um, drag course for any of you drag performers who want to do to experience drag and find out what drag is. Treasure House of Makeup, hello. We're, we're all here, it's fabulous. Right, today, um, so my final video about cuts was released, um, will be released today. It was actually released yesterday, but I will share it. Today we are working with, uh, we're doing, uh, we're starting our burn series. Jill, you did this with me already at uh, City Lit, but it's a good revisiting. Um, Burns, ladies and gentlemen. Burns, burns, burns. Before I do that, I just need to quickly say to the world that I'm online and I'm live. Um, because apparently people want to see these videos. It's all very exciting. I'm very humbled that people are finding these educational videos useful. We at Treasure House are having so much fun and at Seventa Makeup Academy. And here's Seventa Makeup Academy. Hello. Uh, right, let's quickly say to the world we are live. Um... We are live. Um, this is when I can't multitask, you see. Um, I am live. There we go. Um, and now we will share that. Right, okay. So today it's all about burns. Uh, and this uh, Friday and also next week, we're going to just explore burns and the burn process. Now burns, um, I'm very excited about burns because like bruises, burns are sort of your staple as a makeup artist. Um, and sometimes you don't have the luxury of um, of of prosthetics. You you have to do um, you have to do what you can with with out of kit. And today it's all about out of kit, and what you can do. Right. Okay. So just to let you know, today's products are going to be Ben Nye Studio Color Essential Effects from Treasure House of Makeup. Hello. Oh, another fabulous. Fabulous body painter. Hello, hello, Sylvia. Hello, fabulous body painter has just joined us. So today we're all about colour. Um, we are just working with one colour. Now, I love this colour. It's called, uh, this is a, a pot I, I had earlier. As you can see, it's quite well used. Um, it's, called, it's called Burnt Coral. Okay, Burnt Coral uh, by Ben Nye. If you want to know the color reference, it's REFX-3, REFX-3, Burnt Coral by Ben Nye. You can get these from us at Treasure House as a palette, or you can get them as singles. Now, I personally would recommend you always keep a few of these singles. Burnt Coral, fabulous little product. Now, we're doing first degree burn. Now, burns are split into first, second, third degree, depending on severity. First degree, so if you imagine the skin is like a sandwich with three layers. Epidermis is the top layer of the skin, what you can see. Dermis is the middle, where the hair capillary is, where the sebaceous glands are, that's what it is. The dermis, our subcutaneous layer, it's the, the bottom layer, which has got musculature, it's got arteries, veins, etc. Okay, simple, quick anatomy 101. Now we... First degree burn deals with the top layer of the skin, okay, the dermis, this thing, epidermis, sorry, epidermis, this bit, the bit that you see. Now, you might, you might be shocked or might not be shocked to find out that actually a, um, um, that a, a, a first degree burn is actually a sunburn, okay? So, we are working on um, first degree burns. Now, any of, any of you that have done a course with me before know that I love burns and I love colour. So we are very much working on this today. Um, we're going to do, let's do this, this half. Now, when you do burns, you've got to imagine the kind of lorry driver syndrome, arm out. What do you get? You get a lovely, even coloration. Okay. So this is our lovely product. Let's start, um, I'm going to get my mirrors, that's what I'm doing. But let's start all over. Now as you can see it's quite pink, but as you buff it out,
you will get the required effect. And I really want you to buff, 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 buff. Okay, this is about, this is how well you buff. Hello, Scott. Now, welcome to Scott. I love seeing boy makeup artists. I don't see them very often. Um, so welcome. Welcome, Raquel. Um, we're doing out of kit burns today. First degree, sunburns. Scott, I hope university is going well and you're having a lovely time. Scott decided to go into university um, quite late and he's having a lovely time. And so welcome to the industry, my love. This is how I should look today, but on my holiday. I know, my darling, I know. Now, what am I doing? What am I doing? I've got my burnt coral. Burnt coral. Reference REFX-3 by Ben Nye from Treasure House of Makeup. Um, the big thing about this, it's don't overdo the product, okay? I put a very little product and you literally keep moving it around the face. Just keep keep buffing it keep moving it there's a lot of product to go around okay now you can't go wrong with the amount you buff notice i'm doing a lot of this and this not dragging okay constantly constantly move that product round. Now, at the moment, I am avoiding the eye area for a reason, which I will tell you about in a minute. So, as I said, Ben Nye, you can get it as a palette, that's the colour there. Or, we've got a treasure house, these singles, which are fabulous. Burnt Coral. Now, guys, for all of you watching, um, Treasure House have very kindly lifted the pro um, discount and made it available. So whether you're still a trainee, whether you're still a student, you have the pro discount available. It's available on the website for anyone to just use at the moment. And I believe Treasure House, that is indefinite at the moment. Um, so keep, keep, basically go for it. Because this is the time to, if you can, buy yourself a few of those bits of makeup that you've been wanting to for a while. So... Again, a bit more colour, but you can see it's quite strong, so I really buff it. Keep buffing. Perfect Treasure House has just confirmed that the product, the Pro Discount is still available. So let's get buying, people. I mean, if you've been basically saying to yourself, look, I've put a hundred quid aside that I've been wanting to buy for quite a long time, um, and I haven't, this is the time to do it. Now, by the way, I'm wearing a hat because I have got horrific horrific COVID-19 stay-at-home hair and although I can cut hair I can cut my husband's hair but I'm shit at cutting my own because I can't see the back I'm not good with mirrors so um, I decided to rather than make a hash of it uh, I wear hats so I'm all about hats now what's happening what can we see? So this is my non-burn side. That's my burn side. What can we see? We can see build of colour around here. Wherever there's a bone, the, the colour is going to lay harder because the, it does some massage into the skin as well. So whenever you've got a bone, the colour will always be higher because, again, it's not, it, it's not just squishy and you can't go in. Hello, Johnny Hooley. Long hair, don't care. Yeah, I know. But, darling, I have long hair, no shape. That's the problem. Long hair, no shape. I've, as you know, I used to have hair down to there, but it had a lovely shape. It doesn't have shape anymore. So, yes. Um, so, as I was saying, whenever there's a bone, the colour will lay higher on the skin because it doesn't infiltrate as much. There's not as much for it to go into. Um, notice, I this time I have not watered down this with any alcohol. Okay. This is straight on, straight on as it is. So, because of this... Because I've got build, you get a bigger... So I've been working with my Delium 193. Delium 193. But I'm actually moving on to my Delium 195. Fabulous, fabulous buffing. Because I really want that colour. There you go, that's better. I want that colour to be moving. Okay. 
Again, there I've got a bone because of my cheekbone. If you've got high cheekbones like I do, or the jawline, you will see it. Okay. How's this looking? Are we happy? Yes, not bad, not bad, not bad. Right, a word to the wise about stubble and makeup. When you do foundation, when you do effects, you've got to be careful you don't go over the stubble because you don't want it to look like it's placed on the hair. In this case, because my stubble is short, it, the colour would permeate underneath the, by the hairline. So by all means, go into the hairline. Now, because of the hairline, you're going to have to just apply a little bit extra. Don't be scared of it, okay? And you just buff it out. A lot of makeup artists get scared about working with beards, stubble. And I say embrace it because, to be honest, as we know, it might not just be men. It might be ladies and people who have decided they're too fabulous to decide which pronoun they have. So anyone, any person can have stubble and you're going to have to negotiate it. Of course, it's more obvious in men or those people who identify as male. However, it's not always the case. Now here, because of how the sun will lie, you've got to think about how the sun, I mean, already you can see non-burnt, burnt. Non-burnt, burnt, yes. Um, because I have, I when I used to do fashion makeup, I specialised in men and fashion. Um, as you know, I'm retired from fashion. However, I still do the occasion. I still do, of course, female makeup, but I'm a big believer that you should never be flouted just because a man happens to have stubble, a beard, whatever. Because I've seen it in both genders and people that I said too fabulous to decide. Another one of my gorgeous students. Hello. Um, we're working on first degree burns, my darling. I think that you have done before. Now you can see you cannot do enough buffing. I cannot recommend how much buffing you do because I really want to see that juxtaposition yeah I don't want to see color I don't want to see brush marks because the moment I see a brush mark I know it's going to be fake now 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 let's talk about the hairline okay can you see I've got white now you will always see this but in this case, you want to get as close as you can to your hairline. And I press the colour. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing it in. And then I buff it out. Oh, and let's not forget the ear. Very important. If you're going to burn your face, you will burn your ear. Now, the ears, the skin is thinner. Okay, it's a lot less skin. The ears, the eyes, the nose, the lips, the, um, the thinnest skin around any private part, let's just say, will always burn more because the skin is a lot thinner and a lot more delicate. Uh, the inside as well will burn. Okay, you've got to take that into account and we'll talk about that in a minute. You know, if you have to do an all over body burn, you are going to have to paint parts of the body that you may not, you know, be comfortable. Deal with it. You're a makeup artist to create an image. You're creating a character. Whatever that character is, you've got to do the job. Now, the inside of the ear. Hello, Eleni. Eleni C, fabulous vocalist. The inside of the ear has a tendency of burning more. If you look at any pathology of sunburns, just because of the shielding, this area will not burn, but this area and on top, of the, the top and inside will burn. And the lobe. Don't forget about the lovely ear lobe, okay? Now 
Now I'm going to take it right up to there. So what I do is I place my colour and off I go. Thank you, Eleni. I've had, I've had one of those days, everyone, that every conversation I've had has ended up being disastrous. So it's so lovely to be back online with all of you and having a lovely time. Can we see? Can we see? Are we, are we seeing the... Are we still live? Yes, we are. We are. Sorry, guys. I pressed the wrong bloody button. Can we see? Non-burnt. Burnt. Non-burnt. Burnt. Right. So what are the tips here? The tips are keep buffing. Keep your buffers going, okay? There is no, not enough buffing you could do. You can just keep going. You can also use, um, and I haven't got one with me in the studio, but you can use a, you can use a kabuki brush. Yeah, you can use a kabuki brush. You know the little ones, the little flat ones, you can just buff away. Um, now, I, as you know, I use Delian brushes, um, but you can use um, real technique brushes. You can use any brush you want, as long as it's, the dual fibers are really good. Do you, can you see dual fiber brushes? Because they have two layers of hair, and the color, what it does, it, it goes like that. When it, pre, when it So you have one layer goes in, but another layer goes outside, and you get two, you get texture and depth, which is why we use dual fiber brushes. That's what the dual fiber brush does, everyone. It creates texture and depth. So there we go. Right. Let's talk about the skin which is thinner across the eye, mucosa and lip, okay? So in this case, I go for a tiny bit darker. Now I'm now going to be using dark crimson. That one in the middle. Dark crimson by Ben Nye. And I will be watering this one down. If I can find my, there we go. So I will water this one down. So you get your alcohol. Now, we're now dealing with the inside mucosa, yeah? The skin inside. Don't be scared of just a little bit of adding a bit of depth. The lips again, the lips have a tendency of burning. You see, it's just a bit darker. Because the skin on the lips is very thin. Can you see? Just enough, just enough to give it that the skin, being the thinner skin, has just burnt a bit more. And because it's the skin on the lips, you want it to look mottled. Yeah? Look like at that. So you can press it in a bit more. Hi, oh, it's Sharon Gertrude. Hello, my love. Welcome, welcome. 
We're doing a bit of first degree sunburn today, all about sunburns. Right, next thing we're going to look at, so we've pressed the colour into the lip, we've made it just a little bit darker. This is what ha the mottled effect. Now, Zach, you have asked to join my video. My darling, this is a live demo, so unfortunately I can't join you this time. But if you'd like to do an online chat at some point together, I am very happy to do it. Um, so, we've pressed the colour into the lip. It's a bit darker. We've buffed out our burnt coral all over. As you can see, non-burnt, burnt, non-burnt, burnt. Then... We make the skin mottled across the lips. We add a little bit of our darker red. The thin, the skin inside the nose is very thin, very thin. You've got to remember. So if it catches the sun, you know some people sit there with a little reflector and they get the, you know, it's going to burn. Now, this area that I haven't dealt with. I've left that like that on purpose because what we're going to do, by the way, it's going to be a little bit of a short demo today, ladies and gentlemen, because, um, because it is. So we're just going to clean up the area and let's assume, let's assume I was wearing sunglasses. Yeah? So we're making the assumption I've been wearing my sunglasses whilst I've been out on the piste eye skin, not on the piss, on the piste. So I've taken out a bit of colour. Nice and clean, yes? Now, the top of the eyebrow, I want to add a bit of colour because I've kind of missed that area there. So let's just make sure we add a bit of colour. And we again, you keep, you just keep buffing, keep buffing the colour. Okay, can you see? Now what we now do... Yes, absolutely, all the lockdown videos with Seventa Makeup Academy and Treasure House of Makeup are all available. Uh, either from my page on Facebook, from the Seventa Makeup Academy um, YouTube channel, and they will be available from the Treasure House channel as well soon. Bear with me. So now we accessorize, my dears, we accessorize. And there we are. That's the reason I would have a gap there, you see. Can you see? There's my sunburn face. Hello, Vanessa. Fabulous makeup artist, Vanessa Hither. Can we see? Can we see? Non burn face. Looking gorgeous. Well, looking a bit tired, but looking gorgeous. This is my third demo of today, by the way. <laughs> um, this is my burnt, lovely face. I have taken my burnt coral by Ben Nye from Treasure House of Makeup reference REFX-3 oh my god it's the lovely Sam Shook Alter FX Alter Art FX sorry fabulous Sam is an amazing amazing prosthetic sculptor say hello to Sam everyone uh, Sam we're just doing a bit of basic sunburn out of kit so we've taken our burnt coral um, I really thought you had caught the sun. Well, there we go. That's the point. That's the point of this business, that we think we've caught the sun. Uh, oh, I've just turned the camera. Sorry, guys. There we go. Um, so we've got burnt coral all over. We've gone a bit darker on the lip. Yeah. Now, I didn't thin this with, with I didn't thin it with alcohol. I just thinned the lip. With alcohol just to give it that mottled effect. I've gone into the hairline, I've pressed the colour in, done the ear, 
into the beard line. Don't be scared of it. And then we just put these on and non burnt, burnt, non burnt, burnt. Here we go. There we are. Gone into the thin skin in the nose. You have to make sure that's a bit darker. Hello, Juan, another fabulous makeup artist. Oh, they're all out today. So there we go. Um, that's today, basically. This is step one into burns, okay? Burns have many, they've got three degrees, first, second, third. Now you might hear fourth, fifth, fifth degree, um, fifth degree burns, load of crap. First, second, third, that is all the medical are. Now they can be of severity, so you can get a severe third degree burn versus a uh, less severe third degree burn. So they have got levels within them, but this first, second, third degree burns, that's a sort of standard. Fourth and fifth degree, some people refer to them as such. I stick to the first, second, third. This is a first degree burn, a sunburn. As the weeks progress, we shall look at second, third degree burns. We'll also look at electrical, chemical burns and the difference of all of them. So, um, so here we are. So products used today, are, um, we've, Worked with Ben Nye today. Today's been a Ben Nye day. Ben Nye. So we've done our Ben Nye. This one. Burnt Coral. Reference REFX-3. I used it as a single. All available from Treasure House. My brushes. I have used Delium. My gorgeous Delium brushes by Thomas Supernar. Uh, 193. 153. 175 and 195. Dual fiber brushes, great brushes, buffing brushes. We we'll used a bit of IPA and that is it. You don't have to use any more, okay? Don't overcomplicate basic special effects. Basic out of kit, don't overcomplicate. It's supposed to be quick, I wouldn't say simple, it's supposed to be quick easy to apply, something you can recreate out of your kit with the things you have. Keep practicing, keep being fabulous. Lots of love from Treasure House, lots of love from Saventa. If you have any questions, you need any support, please always message me and I will see you very, very soon. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.